Hey guys, welcome to KK Java Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we'll talk about add display name annotation in JNet5. Uh, before that, uh, let's try to understand why we require this annotation. So well, so this is the JNet test cases which I had written my, in my previous video tutorial. Let me rearrange. So here, setup method I'm keeping over here and uh, uh, after all method, I'm going to dump at the last in this class, okay? And uh, before each, I'm keeping over here. And after each, I'm going to dump just before, after all, okay? And here is uh, only one test case is exists as of now, right? And what I'll do, here you can see uh, this test, uh, uh case what we have written this is performing addition of two positive numbers so what i'm going to write over here uh test add to positive numbers right that's the name i have given that uh test uh, test, uh, test uh, method name i have given right now let's add me a little more so few more test cases right so here i'm going to copy and paste i would say uh test add to negative right so we can also test for negative numbers to negative numbers yeah and here we can specify negative number and our expected output should be minus 30 this sop i'm going to remove this is not required at all all right so that i'm going to do yeah now uh, third test case what i'm going to write i would say test add test add one positive and sorry and one negative number right and here i'm going to specify one positive and one negative number so if you add these two numbers then output should be uh, plus 10 yeah uh, and if i run this my uh, this class then after running let's see what output we get and here all the test cases has been passed and in console you can see uh, here on the top this is showing the class name right this is showing the test class name here this class name you can basically uh, modify using add display name and apart from that test cases name i mean test uh, uh, test uh, i mean all the test case all the test method name you can see this is displaying as the uh, basically method name but these things also you can custom customize uh, for more reliability purpose or maintenance purpose so that other developer also can understand yeah so here uh, test classes and test method can be declared a custom display name using add display name uh, with spaces special characters even you can uh, use emojis as well uh, that will be displayed in the test reports and by test runners and all the ids supports this one right so let's try to understand through an example so here on the top label i'm going to use our display name annotation yeah and this guy takes one attribute is called value here i'm going to write a uh, test sorry test cases for or what you can say all the test cases we can write all the test cases of my util test or uh, actual class name is my util right so i would say all the test cases of my util right you can write that so instead of class name now this guy is going to display this one right test runner now we have a three test classes right here so here what we can do we can use display name right display name and value we can specify if you look into the import right uh if you expand this import so here you can see display name 
comes under Jupyter API. So here you can see this is using Java. Whenever you say Jupyter API, that means Java uh, JUnit file. Yeah. Here also we can give the custom name like uh, adding to positive. number something like that right and of course you can use uh, this annotation before each and every uh, test case method right I'm going to use here as well right so here also you can use uh, you can give the description kind of adding to negative numbers right so here we are adding two negative numbers, right? And here I'm going to copy and paste one emoji. That should work, right? So you have to save into UTF-8. Now, if 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 you save this emoji, all right, copy paste some from somewhere and uh, you try to uh, basically save it, then uh, ID first time will come up with one pop-up and that will ask you, uh, to save this emoji in, uh, basically uh, that will give you the different options so you have to click on the UTF-8 and save it and that will ask you first time only now if I run this application or run this genuine test cases then you'll see our display names comes into the picture and here you can see instead of class name is coming all the test cases of my utils and here you can see for one test case emoji is coming over here right and for two test cases, instead of uh, basically test name, whatever uh, value we have given, a string value we have given in the display name that is coming over here, right? So this is a little, little more uh, explanatory or uh, and meaningful uh, test uh, test name you can display in this way, right? So that's all I wanted to show in this video tutorial, guys. And before leaving, let me tell you: instead of emoji, you can specify any kind of a special character and that is going to support by JUnit Five. Right? So that's all I have in this video tutorial, guys. Guys, I hope you enjoyed learning this video. Thank you so much for watching this video, and see you there in the next video tutorial.